All right, so our next thing that we're gonna name are acids. And acids are really just, they have hydrogen with something else attached to it, right? So hydrogen, and see that's an acid. So hydrogen is usually written out in front of it. We'll see a couple times where if we have a carboxylic acid, the hydrogen uh, that comes off is gonna be at the end. You don't have to worry about it yet. We'll see that again in chem two. But acids, whenever you see hydrogen out in front, think that's an acid. So this is an acid, uh, HNO3, that's an acid. So how do we name it? Um, it really depends on what's attached to that hydrogen. So for HCl, you're gonna look at this, you're gonna figure out what the ending is for that anion, and, and then change it depending on what it ends in. So there's three possible endings. It can end in ide, it can end in um, eight, it can end in ite. And if it ends in eight, what you're gonna do is drop the eight off of whatever that polyatomic ion is, and then change it to ic acid. If it ends in ite, you're gonna drop that ite and change it to us acid. So it's gonna be like blank ic acid, blank ic acid. They're all, they're all gonna sound really similar. And if it ends in ide, you're gonna drop the ide and change it to ic acid, but also add a prefix to distinguish it from whatever polyatomic ion, um, ion ended in, in the eight. So you're gonna have like hydro blank ic acid. Um, don't write hydro blanket acid on any test. That's like never the answer, but hydro and then some kind of base and then ic acid. So HCl, right, it's an acid. Um, so you have hydrogen and then you have chloride, right? That Cl is a chloride ion. So what you're gonna do is drop that ide, change it to ic acid, and then add a prefix, hydro. So it becomes hydro, chloric acid. Does that make sense? Switch to a thinner pen here. Now um, HBr, the H is telling you it's an acid. The Br is going to be, is bromic, right? Uh, sorry, is, is bromide. Br minus is bromide. So you're going to drop the ide, change it to ic acid, and then also add a prefix, hydro. So you end up with Hydrobromic acid. So try this last one. You have HI. I comes from iodide, right? Because you're talking about I minus. It's not iodine. It's iodide because you're um, you're you're in this complex here. So change it to ic acid and add the hydro. And you have hydro iodic acid. All right, now, so those are your, your, um, you know, these are binary acids here. It's hydrogen with something else, just one other thing. Now here we have some oxy acids where you have a different amount of oxygen here. And so again, same process. You just need to figure out you have hydrogen and then something else. What is that something else? So ClO minus, if you go back to ooh, where we were doing our, oh, all the way back up here. Yeah, ClO minus right here. That that is the hypochlorite ion. So H and then the hypochlorite ion. So I'm gonna write hypochlorite over here. Hypochlorite, which is different than hydro, right? Chlorite. So those prefixes sound really similar, uh, and they get really confusing. But the hypo part is part of the polyatomic ion. ClO minus is hypochlorite. So what you're focusing on here is that this ends in ite and you're gonna change that to OUS acid, and you end up with hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid. This guy, ClO2 minus, is just chlorite. So you're gonna change that ending to us acid. And so HClO2 is just chlorous acid which is different than HClO3 here, right? ClO3 minus that ion is chlorate. And what do you do with eight? You drop the eight, change it to ic. So eight becomes ic, ite becomes us, and ide becomes hydro something ic acid. So you have two that end in ic acid, uh, and the difference is if, it, if the anion ended in an ide, then you had a, add a prefix with the hydro which usually happens when you don't have any oxygens in there. Um, so here we have chloric acid.
And then this is the perchlorate ion. So you're going to drop that 8 and make it ic acid. And now you have perchloric acid. Done. All right, so adicitis, you have to be able to go the other way as well. So here you have your binary acid, you have H and then CN. So focus on the CN. CN is cyanide. It's an ide. So what do you do to ides? Drop the ide, change it to ic acid, and also add a prefix, hydro. So you get hydrocyanic acid. So usually the hydros are the ones that don't have any oxygens. NO3 minus, right, that is nitrate. Do you see how you need to know those polyatomic ions? If you don't know those polyatomic ions, you can't name acids. You can't name ionic compounds. Um, 8 becomes ic acid, and this is just nitric acid. Now the next one is a little bit trickier because we're um, sulfate and phosphate, you have to add a little a little something extra. Um, so let's see, SO4, 2 minus, right, that's sulfate. So what happens with 8, so you change that to ic acid. And instead of calling it sulfic acid, you probably have heard of sulfuric acid. So you add that little extra UR in there. So our little, our method works Oh, like 90% of the time, except if you have sulfur or phosphorus. Instead of saying phosphic acid, you would say phosphoric acid. So we'll see one of those, I think, if not now for homework. Now, SO3, if SO4 is sulfate, SO3 is sulfite. And ite becomes us, us acid. So instead of calling it sulfous acid, you would say it was sulfurous acid. So sulfur and phosphorus again, just a little bit trickier. All right, so that was what we did before. Now we have to be able to take the name and make the chemical formula. You're gonna you know, apply the same basic principle. You look at this and say, all right, this is ending in ic acid. So what kind of things end in ic acid? Either eights or ides. So then go and check for the prefix. So this is hydroblankic acid, which means I know all the acids are gonna have a hydrogen, right? Uh, and then this came from bromide. How do I know it came from bromide? Because it's hydroblankic acid and ides become hydroblankic acid. So bromide, bromide ion is Br minus. So if I have H plus and Br minus, when I put that together, I get HBr. So hydrobromic acid is just HBr. Carbonic acid, ic acid, came from carbonate. Right, carbonate is CO3 with a two minus charge. Again, you need to know those polyatomic ions. Hydrogen and carbonate. When you crisscross, you get H2CO3. So that is a, um, a diprotic acid. You have two protons there, you have two hydrogens in there. You need that, you can't just say it's HCO3 because that would be an ion. You need a neutral, atom. Um, acids have to be neutral. Hypoiodous acid, us acid came from ite. So hypoiodite is what? Hypoiodite is IO minus hypoiodite. Um, and so an acid, HIO minus, becomes HIO. So be careful not to get that confused with like hydro. Um, you're not going to have a hydro with an us acid. If it's an us acid, it came from an ite, so keep that prefix. And the hypo just means you are missing one of those. Last one, um, phosphoric acid, ic acid, must have come from an ate, right? Came from not phosphorate, but phosphate. Phosphate is PO4 with a 3 minus. And so if you have hydrogen there, hydrogen is always H plus. So when you crisscross there, you have H3PO4. You need three of those H plus ions to balance out the negative three charge there. So that is phosphoric acid. And that's how you name acids.